Hello and welcome to another episode of Historical Churches here on SAR Histories where on the channel today we will be exploring St Helen's Church at Wall, Derbyshire. St Helen's dates from the 12th century with elements from the 15th, 16th and 17th century. Though the Doomsday Book of 1086 mentions Etwall as having one priest and a church, so it is clear that the site upon the church we see today has long been used as a place of worship. The church was restored between 1881 and 1882 and consists of a chancel, nave, north aisle, south porch and a low embattled tower at the west end which contains three bells. Two of the bells are dated 1841 and 1624, the third being medieval. Sadly, the church was closed during my visit and I was unable to explore the interior. Inside is a massive font in the 14th century style, the Port Chapel, a pulpit dated 1635 and numerous monuments many of which are to the Port family. The school beside the church takes its name from Sir John Port who died in 1557 and his tomb niche can be found on the south side of the chancel. It was in his will that he left bequests for the creation of an almshouse and a grammar school at Etwall. The graveyard itself is a fascinating place to wander around and has some impressive headstones. As a whole, the graveyard is well maintained and easy to get around. There are many graves here, some of which date from the 1700s. Most of the headstones are in a good condition and easy to read, though some headstones have broken or too weather-worn to see any detail. There are gaps between the graves where headstones once were, and most of these can be seen propped up against the wall of the churchyard. This grave captured my intrigue, and I was drawn to it. The elegance of the carving captures the poeticness of death in all its glory. There are other graves that are equally impressive, like these crosses which are carved with eye-catching patterns. If you have ancestors in the area at the time of their death, you should definitely visit for a look, as there are so many graves. But if you like walking around churches, you should definitely visit St Helens, as it has a unique history and impressive features. If you have enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time for more historical churches. Until then, goodbye.